hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this simple off shoulder blouse with three tiered sleeves three tiered sleeves meaning the sleeve has like three steps step one step two step three and guys we are not going to be drafting any patterns to make this so from here we are going straight to cutting and then straight to sewing so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do so now by tapping the subscribe button right below your screen tap the like button and let's head right in <laughs> So this is the Ankara I'll be using for my three-tiered um, off-shoulder blouse. So now first things first, I'm going to decide on the width I want for my um, blouse. That is how wide I want the blouse to be. Um, so to get that, all you have to do is just um, get your bust measurement and then you multiply it by three. You can decide to multiply it by two also if you don't have enough fabric but for me because i want it really full i'm going to multiply my bust measurement by three so and that is um 99 so that is what i have here so it's folded into two so my bust measurement is um, 33 inches so multiplied by three that's 99 so this is 99 folded so it's on fold this is 99 so everything round round all the way down here is 99 inches so now i'm going to decide the length how long i want the blouse to be and because it's a crop top um it's not meant to be too long and the length i want for the blouse is just 11 inches so i'm going to measure from the top here down so i'll measure 11 inches and then i'll cut cut it out of my fabric so i'm going to, i'm also going to add allowances to this so my length is 11 inches so at the hem you know i'm still going to finish the hem so I'm going to add one inch to the hem and at the top here also I'm going to there's going to be an elastic at the top here so and that's another one inch so that's two inches so 11 plus two that's 13 so I'm going to measure a full 13 inches long um, blouse and this is it right here so I'm now and now I'm going to cut it into two to represent both the front and the back so this here is the front this here is the back so now i'm going to draw in armholes on each side this part here and also at the other side right here so i need to draw the armhole here so that armhole is needed for us to be able to attach the body to the the bodies to the um sleeve and to get the right armhole just uh, measure um one inch in from the edge of your fabric here now just because I said we are not going to use any patterns to cut this blouse, um, I'll just show you what to do to get the ample right here. So this one inch that we measured here is just going to serve as the allowance. If I was going to use a pattern, so all I have to do is to just get my off shoulder sleeve um, pattern and then place it here to get the ample of this. So now because I said we are not going to use any patterns, just place your French curve. Like I said earlier, this part is the allowance of your of your body so just place your french curve this way and measure seven inches so if you look at your french curve everything here there are measurements on it so this is one inch i hope you can see what i'm showing this is one inch this is two inches three inches four inches five inches six seven eight and so on so you just place your french curve right on top so but before you place the french curve um before i forget measure one inch also down from here so you know we added allowance also here we have to add an elastic to the top here so just measure that one inch down so you place your french curve and measure seven inches so right now i don't know if you can see this but i'm going to start counting from right here so this is one two three four five six so since it's not enough i have to push it in because i'm going to seven i have to push this in more so i'll start counting again from here so you make sure where you're counting from is where your one inch mark starts from right here so i'm counting one two three four five six seven so the seven inches that i'm, I'm counting is going to end right at the mark of the allowance right here you know we measured one inch in so 
on the one inch mark the seven inches stops here and then it also starts from this mark so i'm going to draw in the armhole so i don't know if you can see it but this is the armhole right here so now all i have to do is just add half inch allowance to the armhole so this is it so i'm going to cut this along this line and that's pretty much it for the armhole so for this this is one side then the other side you can just place this once it's cut it you can just place this at the other side at this point here so that you can cut the armhole also right here or you draft it in also at the other side so whichever one is convenient for you so i'm just going to do that now and then i'll show you the next thing to do so this is the armhole clearly shown in case you didn't see this before this is my half inch allowance this is the one inch allowance for the um elastic at the top and one inch for the side allowance right here so now i'm just going to cut it out now and that's all for the blouse so um the armholes already cut out so now let's move right ahead to cutting out our sleeve now straight to the sleeve so first things first you know the sleeve is a three-tiered sleeve that means we have three um, steps we have three tiers for the sleeve so i'm going to be starting first with cutting the first tier that is the one on top so to get um the width of the sleeve i'm going to get my bicep measurement or you just measure on your arms right here you measure here i hope you can see so you measure right here what you have um i had um, 11 inches for mine so what you have just measure it by three or four or two depending on how much fabric you have then um, for me, I have 33 inches and this is 33 inches folded right here like this So I'm just going to add one inch to that. So I have that for that's 34 So I have 34 inches folded right here Then I'll measure how long I want this first tier of the sleeve to be so the first tier of my sleeve I want the length to be nine inches. So I'm going to add because there's going to be um elastic also at the top here i'm going to add one inch allowance here and at the hem also you know we, are, we have to fold it so another one inch so that is two inches so nine plus two that is 11 inches so i'm just going to mark it right here and this is my first um tier right here the first sleeve tier right here so now i'm going to cut another one that is a little bit shorter in length than this one i'll be showing you what to be using that piece for later so just measure um maybe something that is um maybe three inches shorter or four inches shorter so i'm going to measure something that is like four inches shorter than this so that is from the top here is seven inches so i'm going to measure that seven inches length right here i'll be showing you what we'll use that piece for later so we'll keep that away somewhere i'll just keep it here then now let's draw in the armhole of the first tier now let's cut in the armhole now to cut in the armhole i'm just going to pick up my body piece so i'm going to place the armhole right at this point so i'm going to cut this out since they're both going to have a the, um, the same armhole and that's done so that extra piece i'm going to pick it up that extra piece we cut earlier this extra piece then i'm going to place this also on it and then i'll cut the armhole out and that's tier one completed so you cut another one for tier one you know you have um two sleeves obviously so yeah you cut this and also this so now let's move on to cutting tier two and tier three so this one and this one are together so this extension piece and the first tier so now let's move on to cutting tier two and tier three now to cut tier two and tier three i'm going to pick up the this extension that we cut for um tier one and I'm going to measure the width right here. So that's like um, 34 inches, 35 inches rather. So that 35 inches, I'm going to multiply it by two and that is going to give me the width of my tier two and my tier three. So let me just cut that out. Now, so this is the full width of my um, tier two. That is uh, 70 inches, I think. So now to get the length, the length of my tier two, I'm going to pick up that um, extension piece that we were using earlier. So I'm going to pick up that extension piece. This is it. 
So the length of my tier 2 is going to be starting from here. Yeah, so I'm just going to place this right here. This is where my tier 2 is going to be starting from. So I'm going to place this extension piece right at the top here. And then from there, I'm going to measure how long I want my tier 2 to be. So if you want it at maybe your elbow length, all you have to do is to just measure from the top right here. I hope you can see where I'm touching. Yeah. So from the top right here, this is the full, the height of our sleeve. So you can just measure all the way to where you want your, um, where you want your second tier to be. So I want my second tier to be 16 inches. Our first tier was let me see, 11 inches. So my second tier is going to be five inches longer than my first tier. So 16 inches plus one that's 17 inches. So this is where my um, 17 inches right here. That's where my second tier is going to stop. So I'll mark that and then I'll cut it out. Now this is my tier two cut out. So I'm not cutting any armhole for tier two. All of those things about armholes that's down stops with tier one. So now let's cut tier three. Tier three is going to be longer than this. So all I have to do is just add maybe five to six inches to the length of this, and then I'll get my um, tier three. So it depends on how where you want the last tier to stop. Maybe here or here or wherever. So to get the third tier. I'll just add 8 inches to the length of my second tier. So they both have second tier and third tier, they will have the same width, so it's the length that will be different. And this is my tier 3, tier 2. So all you have to do now is to cut another one of these for the other side and then another one of, the, of this for also your second sleeve. And that completes the cutting of our sleeve. Tier 2, tier 3. And this is tier one right here with the extension. This is the extension for tier one. So yeah, I'll be showing you how to put all of this together when we move on to so tier one, tier two, and tier three. Now to sew, the first thing I'm going to do is to pick up my bodice piece. And this is my bodice piece right here. So I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to sew sew it at, at the top right here. I'll sew one inch at the top right here and also one inch at the hem right here. So I'm going to do the same also for the other side. So the one inch I sew at the top right here will be for uh, elastic casing and the one inch here is just to turn the hem of our uh, uh, blouse. So I'm just going to do the same for both sides, for this one and also for the second one. That is, this is the front and this is the back so then i'll be showing you how to fix in the elastic into this before we then move on to the sleeve now let's fix in our elastic now to get to the measurement of elastic you will be putting for this you can just measure around above your bust or you use your bust measurement anyone you can either measure around above your bust or you use your bust measurements then you divide it by four so this is what i have here now i'm going to stick this into this using a pin so using this pin i'll use it i'll stick this into the casing right here and then once it's all the way in i'm just going to stitch this part right here and then when i come out of here i also stitch this when i bring the elastic out of the other Casing here, I'm going to stitch this part also. Then I'll also do the same also for this one. Then we'll move on to our sleeve. Now this is what the blouse is going to look like once you are done fixing the elastic in it. So this is it. Right here. Now so let's work on the sleeve. You do the same for this um, for the second one. This is just the front piece. Then you do for the back piece also and then you keep it aside. Now for the sleeve, I'm going to be starting with tier 1, so this is tier 1 and its extension, the second piece. So what I'm going to do is to place this like this and then I'll place the, I'll place the extension over it, on top of it, like this. So I'll make sure everything aligns, then I'm going to 
I'm going to fold this at the top, the two together, pick the two together and fold it at the top by one inch. So that will be the casing for uh, elastic. So you do the same also for the other side. So once you are done, then we'll, I'll talk about what to, what you're going to do with this extension. Then I'm also going to finish the hem of this one also. Just fold this by one inch, fold the top by one inch and then fold this one also by one inch. You're not going to be folding this, just this and at the top, so pretty much. And this is it sewn down, so yeah, pretty much it. So we are going to fix our elastic into this casing at the top. But before we do that, let's work on tier 2 and tier 3. So this is tier 3 and this is tier 2. So tier 3 will be down like this and then I'll place tier 2 on top of this. this. So tier 3, place tier 2 on top of it. You can just pin it down rather, just pin it to hold it down. Then you sew a gather stitch all the way through to the end. Then for this at the hem, just close it by one inch at the hem here. And then close this also by one inch at the hem here. So I hope you got the drift. So just place tier 2 on top of tier 3. Hold it down with pins and then sew a gather stitch straight up. And then you sew the hem by one inch. So the hem also by one inch and that's it so you do the same also for the other sleeve of tier two and tier three so once we are done doing that then i'll tell you what to do next so guys this is my tier two and my tier three attached together so i already finished the hem here and finished the hem also here so all you have to do is to now gather this part so you gather stitch here and then you gather it so after gathering it it should look like this so you can see this now so tier two tier 3 then you pick up your tier 1 so this is tier 1 this is the extension beneath it then you pick the extension and place it this way on top right sides together with this one and then you sew down so this is what I mean look at it this is the extension we attach to the tier 1 so you pick the extension up and then you sew it through this one right sides together so the gathering of this part will be the same width you gather this part to the same width as the width of your extension so i hope you got the dream so you we'll attach it this way you sew down by half inch so by the time you are done this goes over it like this so this is how it will look and then you now attach your you're fixing your elastic into this part and that completes it so i'm just going to do all of that now then i'll show you the next thing to do so this is tier one extension attached to this to this part and then it covers it so this is tier two and this is tier three so pretty much so guys let's round it all up this is one of my sleeves look at how Fold it is. This is one sleeve. So I already finished all the armhole edges with my overlock machine. So I already overlocked it. And this is my second sleeve. So tier one, tier two, tier three. This is tier one extension here attached to tier one extension attached to tier two, tier three. So yeah. And these are my two bodices. This is bodice one, bodice two. So now to round it all up, all I have to do is just now attach my sleeve. So at the armhole, of, I'll pick one of my bodies and then I'll attach, I'll attach this. I'll attach this at the armhole here. So half inch. By the time I'm done, I'll pick the other armhole of this sleeve, of this same sleeve, and then I'll attach it to the armhole of my back bodice. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you do the same also for the other side of the sleeve. And then once you are done, you know, then it's time to then sew the sides of your dress. Of your dress, it's time to then sew the sides of your blouse. 
So yeah, I'm just going to do all of that now and then I'll complete my blocks and you see what the final blouse is going to look like. So now that the armholes are joined, look at it here. So all I have to do now is to sew the sides. So you sew the sides by one inch here and you do the same also for the other side and that completes it really. And that completes it guys, please uh, tap the subscribe button, tap the like button if you found today's tutorial helpful and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials when I post them. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>